Um, she she's a uh, beard day. Today, what's your birthday to? Mm, no, yesterday. Oh, yesterday was your birthday too. Ah, the same day as Lisette. So happy birthday. Evelyn and Lisette has the same day of birthday. They were in the exactly same day. Nice. Hello, uh -huh. Veronica. <laughs> Good evening. Okay, in today's class, we are going to have the instruction for the final test. Um, Lisette, Carla, Janet, uh, Evelyn, have you already taken the final test? Ya hicieron el examen final? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Jan, yes. yes. Uh, did you have any problem with during taking this test? I couldn't listen to you. No, le escuchamos, Roxana. Uh, you can write on the chat too. Puede escribir en el chat si tiene algún comentario o pregunta. So today we're going to start with that. We're going to use, we are going to see the final test. Okay, in the final test, you are going to find six. You're going to find six exercises. Um, just a second. What is she saying? Oh, probably she has some problems with the internet. So welcome to the class, Roberto. So let's see. This is the final exam, and you are going to find here six, six exercises that you have to complete, right? In the case of the ones that have already completed, congratulations. Right? Que bueno que ya lo hicieron. In the first part, you are going to find a listening. This is the listening part, the listening evaluation part. And the instructions is listen to Helen and Mark's conversation and select the best answer to the question. And then you click here on play, on the play button. And you are going to listen to this. And then you start solving the question, right? Where are Helen and Mark going? That was the, the first topic we studied, the future we're going to. And where is Smith department store? How do you get there? And what is Mark going to buy? Those are the first question in the first exercise. Then we have the second part, complete the sentence. This is a grammar part. So we are going to complete the sentence instruction. Look at the map to complete the sentences. You are going to use this map in case you can't not see this. You can click on plus and you are going to see it near. If you are still can see it, you can click on this button and you are going to have, you are going to have a full size picture of the map. Here you can see, this is the map. And in the exercise, you are going to find the preposition, the preposition of plate that we studied, that we had already studied to complete these sentences. Do you remember about the preposition of place? Which one are they? What is the preposition yes, of Next you... to, behind, in front of, between. Thank you. Esas son las que estudiamos. Across from, next to, behind, between. 
uh, in front of, and we're going to use them here in this part. And in the third exercise, you are going to select the best answer. Select the best answer for each question. So when you're parting board in the USA, and you here click on the option and you are going to see the option here and you are going to choose the correct answer for every equation. That is exercise number three. And then number four, match the verb to the nouns. Usted tiene que emparejar ¿verdad? los verbos con los nombres. Match the verbs with the correct word or phrases. Los verbos que aparecen acá ¿verdad? tienen que emparejarlos con, la, con las frases que tiene acá, con estas opciones, para ir formando frases. Ok, in this part, match the verse with the correct word or phrases, and then you click here, and you're going to see the option. The option here, and you have to select the correct one. And then in part five, or extra five, select the correct form of the verb be. In this part, we are going to select the correct form of the verb be in past to complete the sentence. And then you have here the, this a kind of conversation. So you have to, to go and read in this part in choosing the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. That is not the verb be right? There are a lot of verb here, regular and irregular. And what's the difference between regular and irregular verb? Do you remember that part? Change the verb. Change the verb. Change the verb is irregular or the verb. Okay. okay, thanks, Veronica. Uh, regular verbs, we have to follow some rules to make the past form. Right? We add ed, d, or ied. And in the case of the regular bird, we are going to learn them from a list. Tenemos que aprendernos de una list, because the past form of every bird is different. Cada verbo tiene su propia forma en el pasado. So in the last part of the final test, in the last part of the final test, we are going to read. We are going to read an article and we are going to complete the sentence. And this is the article. So did you have any problem with this? Let's see it in a full size picture. Just a second. Okay, here is home alone. Who wants to read the first paragraph of this text? A volunteer, please, to read the first paragraph today. <coughs> Jerry Carson, uh, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. Thank you very much. Any question, any vocabulary question in this paragraph? No question, so yes. tell me, what is your question? What do you mean in basement? Oh, basement in Spanish is el sótano. Ah, okay. Any other question? Downside. Downside. Downstairs, son escaleras para bajar, downstairs, and went downstairs, bajó las escaleras, to the basement, to do the laundry. What is the laundry? El área de lavado. Okay. Lavandería. Lavandería, ¿verdad? Pero cuando lavamos en, washing, en a washing machine, when we use a washing machine, that is do the laundry. Ir a meter la ropa ahí con el detergente, el jabón. That is to do the laundry. And any other question in that paragraph? 
So how many irregular verbs can you find in the first paragraph? When? Gwen is one, thank you. State. State, yes, it's a very, it is in past form, Gorab. but that is, that is regular. Gorab. Gorab, that is another irregular, irregular verb, Gorab. How? Gwen. Gwen too, thank you. Any other? What about this one? Had. Had to, right? Had. So Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt. Uh, who is aunt? Which family member yeah. is she? Aunt? Yeah. Tia. Yeah. But he stayed home. Pero él se quedó en casa. He got up early. Así como ustedes, se levantó temprano el sábado and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. What happened then? ¿Qué sucedió después? Next paragraph. Who want to read the second paragraph, please? Me, teacher. Thank you very much. Can you please start? He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed it on me. But I didn't open. He called, he called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Thank you very much. Any question about this? No. Any new vocabulary? New vocabulary there in this paragraph? Uh, oops. Oops. <coughs> hey, I was. Which one? Lock. They were no, locked. He went. Ah, he, he went, went back. back. He, he went he back upstairs. Uh -huh. Okay, hoy es lo contrario, ¿verdad? De he went downstairs. Ahora él, he went back upstairs. Ahora, él quería subir, ¿verdad? Las escaleras. But at the top of the stairs, pero al final de las escaleras, the door was locked. La puerta se le cerró. The door was locked. La puerta se le cerró. He pushed. He pushed on it. But it didn't open. He called to his neighbors. Who are the neighbors? Vecinos. Los vecinos. But they didn't hear him. Pero ellos no le escucharon. Okay. Can you tell me which are examples of negative sentences in past in this paragraph? Negative sentences. Call. Uh, no, but I didn't open. Ah. Oh. Okay, it didn't open. Thank you. And the other one? The they didn't hear, him. didn't hear him. They didn't hear him. Excellent. So, no more question about this paragraph. Let's he, go. He pushed on it. Significa el empujo. Yes, he pushed on it. Um, have you ever seen um, at the bank door? It has this word, push and pull. Push and pull, yeah. So push is empujar y pull is jalar. 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 Uh, also in the bus, right? In the buses, you can find this word, push and pull. So let's go with the next. Who wants to read the next paragraph? Paragraph number three, please. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the door and slept on them. Okay, thank you very much. Any new word here? Any new vocabulary? Or phrase, word or phrase that you don't know in this paragraph? Luckily. Luckily. Afortunadamente, o algo así. Yes, afortunadamente. Yes, Jerry had suertudo. food to eat. No. no yes, suertudo también. Luckily también means suertudo. Or you say lucky boy. Lucky boy. En este caso sería afortunadamente. Un adverbio. Y suertudo es un adjetivo. Lucky. 
Lucky boy, lucky girl. In this case, afortunadamente. It's an adverb. Any other word? Any new word there? So look at this, uh, how important it is to store food in every room of your house. Room. Es importante guardar comida en cada cuarto de la casa. Uno no sabe dónde va a quedar encerrado. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a luckily Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. Nice. Se las arregló, ¿verdad? Para no dormir en el piso. Then the last, the last paragraph. The last paragraph, who wants to read it? For me. Thank you. Can you please start? Yeah. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jeffy in the basement. Ay, se puso, espérame, si tienes que se pone como, ah, espérame, ahorita, espérame, espérame. Es que yo en la computadora casi no lo puedo ver. Aquí está. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. He called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. So he said, we came home right away. We're just happy that he, he's all right. Thank you very much. Any new word there? Any new word or phrase? No, then his parent came home Sunday morning oh. and found Jerry in the basement. Do you have any question? No. No question? Okay, perfect. So it says, we called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. Say his father's, we came home right away. What was the expression right away means? What is the meaning of right away? Inmediatamente. Okay, inmediatamente. We are just happy he's all right. Estamos felices que él esté bien. So, what do you do when you call your family and they don't answer? You go to their house. O generalmente contestan siempre. <laughs> okay, uno se preocupa, ¿verdad? You get worried when someone doesn't answer the phone. So that is the reading in the final test. And then you have to answer some question about this reading. And why did Jerry go to the basement? Where did Jerry sleep? And where did Jerry's parents return home suddenly? Sunday morning. So those are the questions you have to answer. And that is the final test. Do you still have any question about this evaluation? Of any of the six part of the final test, the final exam, questions? Okay, no question. Okay, perfect then. Bueno, mencionarles, ¿verdad?, que tienen, los que no han tomado todavía el examen o no lo han hecho, tienen el fin de semana para hacerlo. ¿verdad? Y todavía el lunes, ¿verdad? algunas horas de lunes. Antes de la clase de lunes ya tiene que estar terminado todos los ejercicios de la plataforma y el examen final. Antes de que nos conectemos por última vez on Monday, you have to finish that part on the platform. Ya tiene que estar terminado. Ok. Ok, then let's start this. Um, let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Just a second. Ok, today with... 
we have already talked about final tests and also we are going to see a scanning and sequence. So this is your 15 class and look at this text, sequence of events. We are going to learn how to do this sequence of events, como relatar ¿verdad? eventos en secuencia. And I have this example for you. Yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. Uh, it was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. We heard a lot of screams. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So what happened in this sequence of events? Oh, okay. Tuvieron un susto, ¿verdad? Tuvieron un susto. So, no recuperaron el dinero. Oh, ok. <risa> parecido a lo que sucede en nuestro país. ¿no? Porque es parecido, es pura coincidencia. <risa> ok. So, look at the first event. Yesterday my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening. That is the first event. And then we have the other one at 11 o'clock. What happened? What happened at 11 o'clock? The lights went out. The lights went out. Se apagó de repente todo. And we hear a lot of screams. Después que se fue la luz, we heard a lot of screams. What is the meaning of screams? Gritos. Yes. Gritos. Escuchamos muchos gritos. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Entendible, ¿verdad? Se querían ir de ahí. And suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. Siguiente evento, ¿verdad? Aparece un hombre y le dice, quédese ahí, ¿verdad? No se mueva. He was a thief. Thief. He had a gun in his hand. What did he have in his hand? A gun. A gun, ring. Una pistola. Una pistola. There was another man beside him. Había otro hombre atrás, adelante, a la par. What is beside? What is the meaning of beside? Atrás. Detrás, ajá. Uh -huh. No, atrás es behind. A su lado. A su lado. Oh, wow. Yes, another man beside him. We gave them our money. Nosotros le dimos nuestro dinero. Thanks God he didn't ask for the cell phone. Gracias a Dios no les quitó el teléfono. Uh -huh. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief. Siguiente acción, ¿verdad? 10 minutos después, la policía llegó. Y ellos capturaron a los ladrones. But we never recovered our money. Pero nunca recuperamos nuestro dinero. Dinero. Ok. Llega así de rápido la policía en El Salvador. Ten mm -hmm. minutes. Or no. After four hours. <laughs> four hours. And 30 minutes later. One hour later. So look at this. And we can see here the birds went. Was. Went out. Heard. Wanted, we didn't know. So, para ir diciendo la secuencia de los eventos. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo le preguntara, um, what did you do today? ¿Qué hizo el día de hoy? And then you start saying, right? in the morning, I, I woke up at five o'clock. I took a shower. I, I had a breakfast. I went to work. I work during the whole morning. I have a lunch. I ate fish. And then I went back to work. Regresé a trabajar. I, and, yes, tell me. I went to 
to work for San Salvador and I don't have I don't have time for lunch. Oh, uh, I, I didn't I, have. I, I didn't have time for lunch and I lunch and dinner at the same time. Okay. After the <laughs> okay, you had your lunch and dinner at the same time. Uh, that's happened, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's happened something when we have a lot of work to do. We don't have time to eat. Okay, so it's raining very hard. Uh, it was raining today. Yeah. It was raining a lot. Okay, but didn't you get wet? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm sorry. Espero que no le dé gripe, right? the flu. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next. I have uh, some question about this reading and I have this. I'm sure the following question about the test. When did this happen? When did this happen? When, when did this happen? Yesterday. Okay, it happened yesterday. It happened yesterday. Thank you. What time was it when the lights went out? 11 o'clock. Okay, it was 11 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. Thank you. Number three, what did they want to do then? At the moment of the robbery, what did they want did to do what did they want to do then? They, they went to go out. They want oh no, they, right? in, like, in pass. They went. The verb want in pass. It's a regular verb. Wanted. Thank you. They wanted to go. They wanted to go out things. Then number four, who was the man that appeared? Who was the man? He was a thief. He was a thief. Thanks. Was... Number five, what did the people give the thieves? They gave their money. Okay, excellent. People gave the thief their money. Las personas le dieron a los ladrones su dinero. And then the last question, did the police catch the thief? Yes, they did. Excellent, that is the correct answer. Yes, they did. Okay, two volunteers in this part. Who wants to participate today? Two volunteers, please. Who wants, who wants to participate? Just two people. Nobody, nobody wants to participate. Then I'm going to choose. Hey, let me see. Remberto, can you please help me? And Floridalia, please. Floridalia, can you please read the question? And Remberto, answer the answers, please. Okay. When did, when did, when did this happen? It happened in yesterday. What time was, what, it, what is when the lights went out? It was 11 o'clock. What did they want to do then? They wanted to go, to go out. Uh, who was the, the man that uh, appeared? appeared? Appear. He was appear. Ah, appear. <laughs> he was a. ¿Cómo sería ese dicho? A thief. Thief. No sé cómo se leerlo así, no. Thief. thief. No se lee la e, solo es T H I F. Thief. thief. He was a thief. thief. Yes. He was a thief. What did the people give the? the ¿Cómo es la palabra, teacher? Thief. 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 Okay, the thief. 
give. Mm -hmm. People give the give their money. The the pol the, the police cut cut the thief. Yes. Thank you. Okay, excellent job, you did a very good job, thank you. So don't forget the pronunciation of the last ED of the regular verb in past. Let's see, for example, happened. Uh, happened is the verb. So in past, we are going to pronounce with D or with T. Acuerdan? Do you remember that? Happened. Mm. Yes, happened or happened? Happened. Now, ah, the last pronunciation is with D, right? Because it ends in end. So it happened. Eh, one, el verbo one. Es conté. Want. Want. Es want or want or wanted. <laughs> wanted. Ah, ok, es guantil. Como one termina one. en sonido de T, ¿verdad? Vamos a pronunciar la última E con sonido it. So, guantil. Guantil. Things. And appeared. What about appear? Appeared. 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 Or appeared. 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 Ok, excellent. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So, did you see, encontraron este reading in the última parte, or in the last part of the section number five. So, Ricky Martin, uh, do you like Ricky Martin music? Yes. 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 What is your favorite song of him? Uh, nadar con tiburones es una última vez. Buenísima. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is the name of the song? What is the name of the song? The name is Nadar con tiburones. Mm -hmm. okay. Con tiburones creo que es el nombre. Ah, ok. Les pregunto para buscarla después, ¿verdad? En YouTube. Sí, es bonita. Ok, excelente. So, we have this reading. So, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on December 24th. In 1971, he, he was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercial and started singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. And have you ever listened to this band, Menudo? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, he worked hard with them and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part in a Mexican soap opera. Do you like Mexican soap operas? Yes, teacher. Yes? I don't see, I don't see more, more that for opera. Oh, you don't see soap operas now. But when you were younger, when you were más joven, what was your favorite Mexican soap opera? And I don't have, I don't have because my mother and my father don't have to watch that. <laughs> ah, they didn't allow you to watch soap operas. They didn't allow you to watch. Okay. Okay, then. ¿En qué parte? Pues en la sección 5, teacher. Es que aquí en la computadora no la puedo ver bien, entonces me tengo que buscar en el teléfono. Um, sí, está en la sección número 5. Es la última lectura de esa sección. So, let's see. So, after work, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared in American soap opera and in the Broadway shop. The Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. 
His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Do you like that song? Yes, I like that. Yes. Okay, ¿se acuerdan de ese corito? Okay, that song was on his <laughs> first <laughs> album. <laughs> okay, now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. Let's see. He's, um, at, he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. So where, where was he born? Where was he born? He was born he in was San, Juan, San Juan, Puerto Rico. He was oh. born in San Juan. Okay, excellent. He was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, when, when was he born? He was born in Okay, excellent. So I have another question uh, about this reading, but first of all, um, can you please tell me if you have any question about the vocabulary, any new word or phrase in this reading part? Question, do you have any question? What do you mean in still? Still, todavía. And okay. he still loves singing. Y todavía le gusta cantar. Prueba de ello es la última canción, ¿verdad? Que dicen que está muy bonita. He still How loves the meaning of soon afterward. Soon afterward. Um, <clears throat> sería inmediatamente después. Soon afterward, inmediatamente después, he recorded two Spanish language albums. Any other word? No, then let me ask you, how do you pronounce the following word? <laughs> How do you pronounce this verb in past? Studied. Studied. Studied, right? With ID sound, studied. And the next one, join. 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 With T join. or D sound? With T. D sound. What about the next one? Work in past? Work. Work. Okay, worked with work. T or D sound. With okay, with these sound things. What's the meaning of this verb? Became. Can you please repeat? I couldn't listen to you. Became. Became. Llegar a ser, ¿verdad? Y él llegó a ser muy conocido. And he became very well known. So, how do you pronounce this other regular verb? Moved. With D or T sound? With D. With, With D. D sound. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's. Let's see some question that I have about this. They are different from the ones you have. Son diferentes de las que tienen la plataforma. So look at this. We are going to read for a specific information question. For a specific information. What did Ricky Martin study? Do you remember that? In the text? Yes. What? He studied thinking. Okay, which letter is then? Letter F. Okay, thank you. He studied singing, yes. How long was he in, in Menudo Band? How long was he in Menudo Band? Letter E. He, he was oh. in Menudo five years. Okay, excellent. Where did he move 
first. Letter A. Oh, he moved to New York City. Did he appear in a soap opera? Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Excellent. How many albums did he record in Spanish? He recorded two albums. Thanks. And how was the name of his English album? Letter B, Ricky Martin. Okay, letter B, Ricky Martin. Thanks a lot. Oh, let's see the next. Okay, first question. When were you born? Estas sí son las preguntas. Algunas de ellas sí estaban. Sí, uy, cuento next. Sorry. Okay, when were you born? That is the first question. ¿Se acuerdan cuando nació Ricky Martin? Era when was he born? Now this question you have to answer with your own information. When were you born? So you have to say I was born. I was born in 1975. Okay, 1975. And where were you born? That is the other question. Donde? He's asking I for was, a place. Uh, I was born in Santa Ana. Okay, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Santa Ana too. Okay, what did you study? I study, I don't study Finnish. I, I finish the study for five years, but I, <laughs> um, okay. I was a young mother. <laughs> okay, but in this case, what did you study? You can say I studied high school. Uh, I studied oh, elementary. In the middle for the university. Um, oh, I am studying too. Estoy estudiando. I am still studying. Todavía estoy estudiando. I study English corporativo. Okay, I study yeah. English. Okay, excellent. Uh, so don't worry, right? You still can finish your career. You can still can finish your major. Uh, who was your favorite singer? When... I have, I have, two, I have two favorite singers. Who, who are they? Uh, Mark Anthony and Ricardo, Ricardo Ah, okay, excellent. Okay, in my case, I write this answer. When were you born? So I was born in 1989. Where were you born? I was born in Cuscatlan. Where did you grow up? Sorry, here we need up. I'm going to write with this up. When did you grow up? I grew up in Cojutepeque. What did you study? I studied English. Who was your favorite singer My, uh, when you were a child? And why? My favorite. Okay, we have the same singer. My favorite singer was Ricardo Arjona. Why? Because he sang romantic song. Te canta canción. The new, the new album from Arjona? No. No, I haven't yet. Is it good? Why? <laughs> is that new? Uh, okay. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Uh, okay. So look at this five question, and you are going to share with your classmate in a small group. We are going to work in a small group today. So... Can you please write this five question because you are going to share the answer with your classmate. Let me know, let me know please when you finish. Okay, let me know when you finish, please. 
we need okay, here up. Up, this is correct. Where did you grow up? Let me know when you finish. When were you born? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? What did you study? Who was your favorite singer when you were a child and why? Of course, you can add some other question, right? Puede agregar otras preguntas. To talk in past. Finish, are you sí, ready? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me what is your question. Si uno quiere decir que estudió, por decir algo, una licenciatura, ¿cómo lo menciona? Um, licenciatura en? ¿En ciencias jurídicas? Uh, the, a I studied sí, a bachelor a in laws, or I studied laws. Licenciatura. Sorry, I don't understand. Licenciatura no tiene una traducción, ¿verdad? Así, oh, okay. Pero equivale a un bachelor's. Así le decimos bachelor. I studied a bachelor in laws. Okay. I studied laws. In my okay. case, I say I studied a bachelor in English with emphasis in teaching. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to practice with your classmate? Yes, okay. Just let yes. me show you some examples of other questions that you can use. Let's see, for example, who was your worst class? Did you ever fail a class? Alguna vez no probó una clase? Uh, were you good in math? Were you good in science? Were you good in math? I'm sorry again. Did you study hard for your high school test? ¿Estudiaba usted bastante para los exámenes en bachillerato? ¿O solo se persinaba antes de entrar a la clase? <laughs> <laughs> se persinaba antes del examen. So these are some other examples that you can use to practice with your classmate. Uh, what high school did you go to? Uh, ¿Qué es, colegio fue? What university did you go to? When did you finish high school? When did you finish college? Did you enjoy school? Did you enjoy college? What classes did you fail? What classes were the most difficult for you? What classes were the easiest for you? Did you make really good friends? So you can use these other examples. Let's go then for you to practice with your classmate. Here we go. We are 10 today, so three, three and three. Yes, second. Okay, you are going to you are going to have five minutes, five minutes to share with your classmate. So here we go.
And what high school did you go to? Hola. No. And what high school did you go to? Okay. La primera. Yeah. Now the question is, what high school no. did you go to? Uh, Mateo, in your case. Hola. Hello, Hello Lizette. Hello. ¿Nos puede escuchar? Hello. Creo que desactivó los Hola. audífonos. Sí. Mm. No. Listen us. Bueno, mientras Lisette arregla su problema con el audio, Mateo, what school did you go? Um, high school or or school? Uh, high school. Um, I'm I'm starting the high school. Um, but, uh, ah, you are in high school, yeah. school. Okay, yes. in this in this case, yeah, I am still studying high school, and I study at. ¿Cómo se llama? I study at. I study at Jersey, uh, uh, US. <laughs> uh, then there is no high school, that is college. You are attending to the university. Oh, sí, 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 sí. Ah, okay, right. so you okay. say, I am studying at the University of El Salvador. I'm studying. <laughs> At the University of At the University of El Salvador. Ok, Mateo, okay. ¿usted se escucha bien? Sí. Dice yes. que no um, es... I... Yes, I... Yes, I do. <laughs> ok. Well, next question, when were you born? When were you born? I was born in El Salvador. Okay, excellent. Uh, where did you grow up? I, I grew, grew up in, in Pango, in Chile. Okay, excellent. So, who, who was your favorite artist or actor or singer when you were younger? My favorite actor was uh, Spider-Man. And the name, the actor name, sería, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Ah, Peter. Peter Parker. Oh, Peter Parker. Okay. Nice. I like Spider-Man too. And my son loves Spider-Man. Yes. Okay. Eh, bueno, voy a cambiarlo de sala para ver si con sus otros compañeros si pueden. Probablemente en el cambio se le arruinó el audio. Ahí se le desconfiguró. Lizette, okay. ¿ya nos puede escuchar? No yet. 
Bueno, los veo en un minuto entonces en la reunión con todos. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mateo. You did a great job. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello, Carlos. How was your practice? Very good. But oh. I, I go out. Sin querer. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Can you please repeat the last sentence? Eh, eh, que me, creo que me salí sin querer porque ya no había nada. Es que ah, ya no. terminé. Ya no. venimos a la sesión Me dejaron <laughs> sola. <laughs> no. Oh, sí. no, yo me quedé esperando la respuesta. Ah, okay, I'm sorry, but you can share it. You can share it in this part. We are waiting. We are still waiting for some of your classmates. Okay. Here is Lisette, Mateo, Carlos, William, Veronica. Oh. And the dog. <laughs> That dog, is, that dog is angry. Okay. How was your practice? Carla, how was your practice? Did you share with your classmate? Did you finish? Uh, Veronica faltó. Ah, but we can ask the question to her here in this moment. So, Carla, can you ask the no question? Copié esas. Es que no copié las otras y las primeras ya le pregunto a usted. <laughs> Ah, okay. No Yo quería preguntarle las otras. No, we can see them. Yeah, okay. Okay. Who was, you Veronica, who was your gross class? My, my gross class was science. Why, Veronica? But I love the math. <laughs> Did you ever fail a class? No, no, I didn't. Where you got in math? In math? Good. Yes. Sorry. Where you good in yes. math? Yeah. Where, yes. where you good in? Where you good in science? No, I. I don't, I don't wear it. No, I wear it. Yes, no, I wear it. No, I wear it. No, I wear it. Um, did you study hard for your high school test? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. What about Janet? What was your worst class? Janet. No entiendo bien esa pregunta. Ah, that is what? What was your worst class? ¿Cuál era la peor clase para usted? So you say oh. it was. No, no tenía teacher. No tenía. I, I didn't have any. Okay. I y en todas era buena. Excelente. Excellent <laughs> students. Nice. Uh, Carlos, did you ever fail a class at high school, yes. at college? Yes, I was. Um, and, and the high school, no. In the college, sí. Okay. Was it math? Was, no, no. I, I am really good at studying in math and science. Ah, okay. I, 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 I failed in the in eh, materias humanísticas. Ah, okay, okay. 
Y no, then I can say that you were in good in math and you were good in science. Nice. And did you study hard for your high school test? Let's say. Okay. Tell me, Carlos, did you study hard for your high school test? No, really. I, no, I didn't. I, I weren't. I, no, no, I, I didn't. didn't. Um, okay. No, in I your, didn't. In your case, Floridalia, did you study hard for your high school test? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Que si estudié mucho para algún examen, es la pregunta, ¿correcta? Si estudiaba duro para los exámenes en el high school. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I did. No, ¿cómo yes. es? Sí, yes, I did. No, ¿cómo es? Sí, vea. Sí, yes, yes I did. <risa> yes, I did. That is the answer. Yes, yes. I did. Yes. Y en el caso de que no, no, I didn't. Yes. Entonces, decía una oración antes no, del yes, examen. Soy tu siervo, señora, ampara mi <risa> Y vámonos. Y Ay, vámonos. No. Ok. Con sinceridad, ¿estudiaron para la paz? Did you study for the paz? So, so. <laughs> Más o menos, so, so. Ok. Um, we're going to stop the class here. Do you have any question about the final test or the reading part? Do you have any question? No question. Oh. Bueno, si no hay preguntas, pues ha sido un gusto haber estado con ustedes. It has been a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, please don't forget to complete the exercises and evaluation on the platforms in case you are missing some of them. En el caso que les hagan falta algunos. If no, enjoy your weekend. Si no, disfruten su fin de semana. And see you on Monday. Los veo el próximo lunes. Si hay algún tema en especial que usted quiera que tengamos un repaso, el próximo lunes lo escribe en WhatsApp. Revise la sección. Check the section from one to five and tell me if you need a review of one of these sections. And we're going to have that class on Monday. ¿De acuerdo? Is it okay? Is it okay? Then. Yes. Good night, then. Have a good night. Sleep good well. Night. Sweet dreams. Que tenga bonitos sueños. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Descansen bastante. Bye bye, Mateo. Veronica. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. See you on Monday. See you on Monday, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Hello, Lisette. Lisette, ¿me puede escuchar? Hello.